Ah, ahora sí. Yo que envío el ganador. ¿Y cuál es el ver? No, no. No, 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 No me he quedado en Ah, ¿qué es lo que es? 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 
Good morning, students. Uh, this is the last concept of uh, data warehousing and data mining, that is the cluster analysis. And in the cluster analysis, uh, what are the algorithms you have to use in a cluster analysis? Those concepts you have to discuss in today's class. Uh, clustering, mainly you have to represent uh, cluster analysis divided into
Uh, good morning, students. Uh, now in today's class, this is the last concept uh, in data warehousing, uh, cluster analysis. Cluster analysis mainly we have to divide into groups. Uh, that is simply you can say that clusters. For example, uh, uh, data points are there in all over the world. Those points you have to represent it as one cluster. Uh, uh, the, uh, for example, uh, 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 near uh, near Hyderabad, uh, what are the data points we have? Those all are we have to represent it as one cluster. Similar way, Chennai. Chennai we have the main center. So that uh, near surrounding uh, data uh, data centers are there. Those centers are uh, represented as one one group. That is simply we call it as cluster. So that is the way you have to represent it as a cluster. How we can uh, analyze these clusters, uh, those uh, those clusters, by using this cluster analysis. And uh, here we have to use the different types of algorithms we have to use in cluster analysis. Uh, those are k-means algorithm. Uh, those algorithms you have to use it here. And uh, here, uh, clustering for the how um, understanding. Uh, clustering for understanding simply you can say that uh, classes conceptually. Uh, conceptually you can say that. Uh, Classes uh, conceptually meaning group of objects that can be common characteristics play uh, play an important role uh, for the people who have to analyze the describe the world. For example, here we can say that uh, uh, a group of uh, group of objects uh, total uh, total entire data you have to divide into objects in the group that is the cluster and this assigning particular objects to these. Uh, these groups, and uh, for example, uh, uh, that cluster you have to belongs to uh, which objects that you have to represent as a classification. Mainly here we can discuss with that uh, one is the clustering and then one is the classification. For example, here we can see young children can be quickly labeled the objects uh, in photograph uh, as buildings, vehicles, people, animals, plants who are there. Uh, in this context, understanding the data, clusters are uh, potential uh, classes and uh, cl uh, cluster analysis is the study of techniques for automatically finding uh, classes. The following uh, examples are uh, here we can say that uh, biology, information retrieval, climate, psychology and medicine, business. Uh, these are the different types of uh, uh, examples. Uh, whenever you have to define in the cluster analysis. Biologist has a, simply you can say that first one we have to consider the biology. Uh, see here, this is the biology. Uh, biologist mainly have to spend the many years of creating and a tax money uh, of a hierarchical classification. Generally you have to call uh, living things like uh, Kingdom, class, order, family, genius, and species. So these are uh, biology related. All the data you have to represent it as one cluster. Uh, a, dis uh, a discipline of uh, mathematical taxonomy, and uh, that could be automatically find the such classification structures. Uh, that is simply you can say that uh, uh, one of the cluster, and uh, you have to classify it. Uh, clustering has been used to find the groups of uh, uh, genes uh, that have the similar functions, and uh, that is the uh, human beings are we have to represent it uh, with the biology. That is the uh, one group of uh, genes are we have to represent it with the biology. Uh, that is the classification. And the next one is the information data. Another example. This is the World Wide Web. Uh, consists of billions of web pages and results and a query of uh, search engines that can be uh, written thousand of pages. So here. Uh, a query of a movie might return web pages grouped into categories such as uh, reviews, trailers, stars, uh, and uh, theaters. In each category uh, cluster can be broken into subcategories. Uh, that is simply called as subclusters, uh, producing hierarchical structure uh, that further uh, assist the user explanation of the query results. World Wide Web also you have to uh, represent it as a different clusters. So that again, that cluster we again we have to divide that is simply call it as sub cluster, uh, sub uh, clusters uh, like movies and uh, you have to represent it as 
uh, different types of movies are there uh, reviews or trailers are there uh, different types also there and uh, uh, type of the uh, uh, specification uh, spe uh, type of the category also you can represent it and the third one is the climate this is the third example of the uh, cluster analysis uh, that is the clustering of our understanding climate uh, simply you can represent it as understanding the earth climate requires the finding patterns in the atmosphere and ocean uh, cluster analysis has been applied to find the patterns in the atmospheric pressure of polar regions and areas of the ocean that have the significant impact of the land climate that is regarding to the climate so uh, climate related information you have to analyze uh, with this uh, example that is simply you can say that clustering for understanding uh next to psychology and medicine that is the illness of the condition of the frequently has a number of variations of uh, cluster analysis can be used to identify the different uh, subcategories uh for example you have to identify the different types of uh, uh, uh characteristics of a particular uh, disease uh, that is like re related to the depression and uh, like, uh, regarding to the uh, uh Uh, type of the characteristics you have to represent that appropriate uh, uh, vi uh, viruses uh, for like covid 19 you have to represent it uh, with the psychology and medicine you have to represent it. and uh, cluster analysis can also be used to detect the patterns in spatial and temporal distribution of uh, of your disease and uh, next one is the another another one is the uh, clustering for the understanding last one is the business business is a collect the large number of uh, amounts of information there on current uh, and potential customers uh, it is used to segment the uh, uh, customers into the small number of groups the additional analysis we can do with this uh, market activities so some of the cases uh, for example medical related data uh, nowadays uh, the prices will be high uh, uh, regarding to the business that is additional analysis you can do with that uh, um hiking prices uh, with this uh, this is the one type of uh, and uh, clustering or um, clustering for analysis these are the examples uh, for the clustering for analysis uh, understand clustering for understanding and the second one is the clustering for utility so uh, so by utilization of the uh, web pages or by, uh, by utilization of the uh, data so you can represent it here uh, that is the clustering for the utility cluster analysis provides an abstraction from of the uh, individual data objects to the clusters in which those objects are received uh, additionally some clustering techniques uh, characterize each uh, cluster in terms of a cluster prototype uh, so here uh, we have the different types of uh, prototypes you have to use here Uh, for the cluster analysis uh, studying the techniques uh, one first one is the summarization process uh, summarization process here uh, first one is the summarization process uh, in the summarization process you have to uh, data analysis techniques you have to use uh, such as regression or pca uh, component analysis uh, space complexity uh, number of uh, space complexity we have to summarize the data uh, by using this uh, data analysis uh, of the cluster so this type of uh, summarization is called as uh, uh, this type of uh, processes uh, techniques are possibly called as summarization so whereas we are using the related to the rhyme related to the space and related to the regression and related to the uh, component analysis we can do with the summarization only uh so here uh, the number of uh, simply you can say that uh, instead of applying an algorithm entire data set can be applied to the reduced data set or consisting only for the cluster prototypes depending on the type of the analysis the number of prototypes and accuracy uh, with which the prototypes represent the data and the second one is the compression so compression means simply you have to Uh, compress the data by using this prototype that is the cluster prototypes can also be used to uh, cluster data compression 
uh, in particular a table is created that consists of the prototype for each cluster each prototype is assigned an integer value that is its uh, position in the table each object is represented by the index of the prototype associated with the cluster uh, this type of compression is generally called as vector quantization uh, in the vector quantization mainly uh, it is applied uh, to the image a sound and video data so vector quantization compression whenever you have to compress the data uh, generally what type of data you have to compress it uh, images are compressed uh, sound is also compressed and uh, videos data is also compressed that is simply you can say that vector quantization so here uh, many of the data objects highly similar to the one another and uh, loss of information is acceptable and uh, also substantial reduction in the data size is desired and the last one is uh, regarding to the clustering for the utility efficiently finding the nearest neighbors efficiently finding the nearest neighbors if the simply you can say that uh, uh, finding the nearest neighbors can require computing the uh, pairwise distance between the all points so here we can represent if objects are relatively close to the prototype uh, of their cluster then we can use the prototype to reduce the number of distance computations so here are uh, two types of uh, cluster prototypes uh, for apart uh consequently uh consequently find an object nearest of the uh, neighbors is only necessary to compute the distance of uh, two objects nearly clusters where the nearest uh, nearness of the two clusters measured by the distance between their prototype uh generally we have the two uh, clusters are there nearby near uh, those clusters uh, uh, which data point is nearest uh, that is uh, we have the clusters uh, in all these uh, there are two cluster in the two clusters we have the number of data points one cluster have the number of data points another cluster also we have the data points in a particular data point is really uh, nearest to the a uh, particular cluster so actually the cluster you have to represent it in another cluster but this uh, point data point is nearest to the uh, another cluster so here uh, actually oka data point oka cluster one lo ki assign yes but it is the nearest to the cluster two so like uh, uh, efficient way you can say that is the finding the nearest neighbors you can find out by using these methods uh, that is the k means algorithms you have used to there uh, for this uh, clustering of for the utility so this is regarding to the cluster analysis mainly we can do first one is the clustering generally you can represent it with the two ways uh, um, uh, purpose of clustering uh, and uh, clustering for uh, understanding clustering for utility so is the along with the examples you have to discuss uh, discuss it with that uh, cluster analysis so generally here in the cluster analysis uh, we have to use the different algorithms k means algorithm db scan algorithm those are all algorithms we have to use here uh, regarding uh, in cluster analysis so clustering for understanding clustering for utility these are the two uh, key points related to the cluster analysis uh, so first one uh, uh cluster analysis mainly uh, two topics uh, mainly we have to cover uh, first one is that different ways of uh, ways to group a set of objects into the set of clusters so generally uh, data points are represented as one cluster so number of clusters we have to represent uh, represent that is a set of clusters and the type of clusters so these are the mainly uh, two topics mainly we have to uh, concentrate on cluster analysis uh, first one is related to the different ways to the groups uh, group a set of objects into a set of clusters and the second one is the type of clusters so here the uh, cluster analysis 
uh, cluster analysis groups the data objects based on only uh, on information found in the data that describe the objects and their relationship. Okay. Uh, in many applications, uh, so here, uh, here mainly we have to discuss in many applications, the notation of the cluster is not well defined. Clearly it shows uh, uh, different parts. Uh, see here, different ways of clustering at the same set of points. Uh, how we can represent it, I will show the diagrams. Uh, see here, uh, this is the different ways of clustering in the same data points. Uh, first one is related to the original points. This is the actual original points you have to represent it in the A figure. And the B figure, the entire original points you have to divide into two clusters. Uh, one cluster related to the, you have to represent it as uh, square boxes. And then cluster we have to represent it as uh, represented as uh, uh, triangles, clear? Yeah? Okay, now I want to, uh, these two clusters, I want to represent as four clusters. How we can represent? I want to represent the uh, first cluster, we have, again, we have to divide into two clusters. Uh, one cluster, we have to represent it as inverse of the triangle, and the second one is the plus. You have to represent it as uh, square, uh, square points, you have to represent it as divided into two types. Uh, two clusters. One cluster we have to represent inverse of the triangle, and the second one you have to represent it as plus. That is the four clusters. One uh, one cluster we have to divide into two clusters. Again, another two another cluster we have to divide into two clusters. That is the uh, star and uh, um, alteration of the square uh, square points we have to represent it as. Uh, this totally uh, four clusters, four different uh, symbols we have to represent it in these uh, four clusters. I want to represent the six clusters. In the same data, I want to represent the based on cluster, uh, cluster analysis. You can, uh, same data point, data points are there. Those data points you have to divide into uh, two clusters, uh, four clusters, six clusters. That is the N clusters also you can divide, same point. That is the original points are divided into six clusters. So. Uh, so see here, uh, first two, uh, cluster uh, uh, in two clusters we have to consider. Uh, that first cluster we have to divide into three uh, three uh, clusters, and the second cluster we have to divide into again three. Three 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 plus three that is the six clusters we have to divide. This is the different ways of clustering for the same set of points. Okay, uh, cluster analysis related to the other techniques for use it to divide the uh, data objects into groups. For instance, uh, clustering can be uh, regarded as a form of uh, classification and it creates the labeling of objects uh, with the class label. Uh, see here, uh, classification. Generally, uh, classification uh, simply con call it as uh, divided into two types. One is the supervised classification and second one is the unsupervised classification. So uh, supervised classification, generally you call it as new unlabeled objects are assigned to class label using a model developed from the objects with the known class labels. Uh, this type of, uh, this is the, uh, this is simply you can say that uh, classification. Unsupervised classification and the term classification used without any qualification with the, within data mining. Uh, simply you can uh, uh, refer to the supervised classification. Uh, first one is the supervised and second one is the unsupervised classifications. Uh, generally here, uh, uh, these classifications we have to represent it as uh, with the terms wise, uh, segmentation and partition. Sometimes you do uh, synonyms as uh, for clustering. These terms are mainly we have to frequently, you have to use the approaches uh, for the outside. Approaches for the outside simply uh, segmentation and partition. For example, here you have the uh, partitioning is often used to connection with the techniques that divide graphs into the subgraphs that are not strongly connected for two clustering. And similar segmentation uh, refers to division of data uh, into groups using simple techniques. 
అంటే జనరల్ గా పార్టీషనింగ్ అంటే ఒక గ్రాఫ్ తీసుకుని ఆ గ్రాఫ్ ని సబ్ గ్రాఫ్ కింద రిప్రజెంట్ చేస్తారు అండ్ ఆల్సో దట్ ఆర్ నాట్ స్ట్రాంగ్లీ కనెక్టెడ్ దట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ దట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ పార్టీషనింగ్ అండ్ సెగ్మెంటేషన్ దెన్ టు ద డివిజన్ ఆఫ్ డేటా ఇన్ టు ద గ్రూప్స్ యూజింగ్ సింపుల్ టెక్నిక్స్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ద ఎంఏస్ క్యాన్ బి స్ప్లిట్ ఇన్ టు ద సెగ్మెంట్స్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దట్ ఫిక్సర్స్ based on uh, only the pixel intensity and the color clear yeah? uh, so ikkada manu segmentation lo simple technique use chesi manu we have to uh, divide uh, division of data into the groups but whereas in partitioning we have to divide into uh, graph is uh, subgraphs and those are not uh, strongly connected that is related the difference between the segmentation and partition uh, see here this is the regarding to the segmentation and partition and the last concept uh, uh, and uh, this is the uh, this is related to the cluster analysis uh, group of set of data objects into the set of clusters and the next one is type of clusters different types of clustering are you have to use in a cluster analysis uh the an entire uh, uh, simply an entire collection of uh, clusters uh, referred as a clustering so generally here we have various types of clustering we have to use hierarchical and uh, pa- partitional and ex- exclusive and overlapping uh, fuzzy and uh, complete and partial so def- these are the types of clusterings we have to use uh first one we have to uh, represented with the hierarchical and the partitional the most commonly discussed uh, uh, distinction among the different types of clustering whether a set of cluster is nested is nested or unnested or in more uh, traditional uh, technology we have to use hierarchical or partition a part uh, a partitional uh, clustering a partitional clustering simply we call it as a division of set of data objects in non overlapping subsets ante meeku ekkada overlap avvadu that is simply you can say that partitional cluster uh, each data object is exactly uh, one subset we simply call it as partitional cluster uh, second one is hierarchical cluster so it uh, cluster again you have to divide into sub clusters which is a set of nested clusters that are organized as a tree each node is the uh, in the tree is the union of its children and the root of the uh, tree is the cluster containing the all objects uh, tree are the singleton of clusters individual data objects so here uh, this is the different types of uh, clusters uh, how we have to divide <coughs> shown in uh, figures uh, before uh, just before uh, previous slides so we have shown that figures that is related to the hierarchical clustering and uh, partitional clustering manaki previous ga manam chupichina diagrams lo these are the diagrams uh, this is the two clusters four clusters six clusters uh these are the partitional clustering okay uh hierarchical clustering uh hierarchical clustering uh, again uh, have to represent a nested clustering uh, uh in each level uh, 1 2 1 2 4 6 we have to represent it as hierarchical clustering and uh, that is the uh, b c d uh figures will shows the partitional clustering and a b c d all uh, four figures we have to represent it as hierarchical clustering this is regarding to that uh, partitional versus hierarchical clustering and the next one is simply you can say that uh, uh, exclusive versus overlapping uh, versus fuzzy clusterings uh so in this clustering mainly uh, exclusive exclusive means that is the first one first diagram shows the exclusive uh, clustering 
they assign the each object to the single cluster that is simply called as exclusive cluster uh, and the second one is overlapping or non exclusive clustering it is used to reflect the fact that uh, that an object is uh, simultaneously belong to more than one group so here a non exclusive clustering uh, you can say that uh, between an object is between two or more clusters could reasonably be assigned to any of these clusters uh, equally uh, simply all the um, just two clusters that is the 8.1 uh, that is the second uh, second image we have to represent it as uh, non exclusive and the last one is the fuzzy clustering every object belongs to every cluster with the membership with the weight uh, that is between 0 to 1 0 and 1 absolutely or uh, absolutely belongs absolutely does not belong so that is simply called it as pg plus prime uh, so this is regarding to this request things and the last one is a complete versus a partial clustering uh so here uh here complete versus partial uh, partial uh, uh, partial clustering a complete clustering assign the way every object to cluster whereas partial uh, uh, complete clustering and every object uh, into the cluster part uh, partial clustering is done not simply you can say that and the uh, a object aithe uh, particular clustering ki assign chestam that is the complete clustering a particular object could not be uh, assigned to a particular cluster that is simply called as partition partition clustering so this is the uh, regarding to the different types of clustering so in next class we will continue the uh, different types of clusters so once you have to complete the uh, different types of clusters uh, then we will start the algorithms that is the Uh, clustering algorithms that is the k means and the db scan algorithms we will discuss in next classes okay thank you so everyone must submit the assignment uh, within uh, so most of the people they have to submit it but a few people uh, do not submit uh, submit the assignments i know i noted those numbers uh, i will post those numbers in today please verify who are not submitted thank you